Hello, my dear friend, you are welcome again to my channel. As you can see in this video, I'm going to talk about different types of switches and then what they can be used for. In electrical engineering, we have very many types of switches with different functions. But in this video, the switches I'm talking about is limited to the common switches that we use in wiring our lighting circuits. So we'll look at each switch and then where it is more appropriate to use them. And then I'll also continue to show how these types of switches are wired. All right, so as we can see from here, these are all different types of switches. And each of these switches has a particular function that it can perform. Some of them can perform just one function, whilst others can be used for multiple functions. The purpose of this video is to show the various types of switches and then what they can be used for. And so first of all, we have to be able to identify each of these switches. All right, so as you can see from here, you can see that each of the switches has an actuator or a number of actuators on them, what we normally refer to as gang. But in identifying a switch, you don't only consider the number of gangs on the switch, you would also have to turn the back of the switch to look at the terminals. So for instance, we have one, two, three switches, all with one gang. But these are not the same type of switches. There are three different switches that can be used to perform various functions differently. So for instance, looking at this switch, we have two terminals, and the two terminals are labeled common and then L2. In some switches, you have common and L1. All right, but in this particular one, we have common and L2. And so this switch is a one-gang, one-way switch. One-way switch means that it can only be used one way. It's either the light connected to this switch is on or is off. So that is a one-way switch. When we look at this other switch, you realize that there are three terminals. Though it has just one gang, the terminals are three. And so out of the three terminals, we have a common terminal. Then we have one terminal labeled L1 and then another one labeled L2. All right, so let's look at how this switch also works and what it can be used to do. When the gang is down here, there is a connection between the common and then the L1. And then when the gang is off, there is a connection between the common and then L2. So this switch can be used to wire two lamps, maybe one brighter lamp and then one colored lamp. So that at any time, it's either the colored lamp is on or the brighter light is on. And also, if we want to be able to control one light from two different positions or from two different locations, you would have to use the two-way switch. Then the next we have here is the two-gang switch. And usually, two-gang switches are usually two-way. So if you see a two-gang switch, it's normally two-gang, two-way. And this is just like combining two of the one gang two way switches. So we have one two way and then another two way. One gang, another one gang. So two gang, two way. Normally, we use this switch where you want to control two different lamps separately from the same location. So, for example, you could place this one at your hall so that one of these will control your outside light, and then one of these will control the light in the hall. That is a typical application of the two-gang switch. Also, you can use one part of this two-gang two-way, and then maybe a separate one-gang two-way switch can be used to operate a lamp somewhere. Well, this one will also be used to control a different light. I'll be showing all the examples practically for you to actually see how it is done. But it may be in another video. All right, so let's move on to the three gang. Just as the two gang two way, the three gang also goes with two way. All right, so this is three gang, one, two, three gang. 
two-way. And also, just as I explained with the two-gang two-way, this switch, you can use it to control three different lamps separately from the same position. All right, so from here, you can control some light somewhere. From here, too, you can control another light at a different location. And then from here, you can also control another light located at a different place. Okay, but all of those lights can be controlled from this one switch, just at one place. And also, either a part or all of this with other two-way switches to control a certain lamp. Then the last switch we have here has one gang, but when you turn the back, you notice that it is actually an intermediate switch. All right. So if you want to know how to wire this type of intermediate switch, I already have a video on that, and I have shared the link under this video. Before I end, I will demonstrate how to wire the one gang one way switch. Then in a separate video, I will also demonstrate how to wire the one gang two way switch. I will show how to wire the two gang two way switch and the others. So to wire a one gang one way switch, you need the switch itself. This is a one gang one way switch. And then you need at least one lamp holder. And then you need cables for connecting. One of these cables will connect from supply to the switch, and one of them will connect from the switch to the lamp. Then you also connect neutral from the supply to the lamp holder. So when you take the switch, the switch has two terminals. One terminal is marked common, and then the other terminal is marked L2. So this cable, this cable that is coming from a circuit breaker in the main switch will connect to the common terminal. Okay, so this is common. So this cable is coming from the supply. It is usually referred to as the feed cable. Then we take another wire from L2, the other terminal here. And this wire goes to one terminal of the lamp holder. To connect the lamp holder, you first remove the skirt. And then you have this. So these are the two terminals we are going to use. There is a third terminal here, but this terminal is for connection to it. So you connect your circuit protective conductor to this terminal. Okay, so we connect the switch wire to one of these two terminals. All right, so switch wire here. And then neutral wire here. And then earth wire here. Okay. So our connection is now done. So we have to reassemble the lamp holder like this. Bring this one. Then you bring the skirt. OK, so very simple. One gang, one way switch, controlling one lamp. So when you switch, the light comes, you switch, and then it goes up. So with the one gang, one way switch, this is the only way you can use it. So it's either it is controlling just this lamp, or you can connect other lamps, say one, two, three, or more. But when the actuator is operated, it goes off. And then when it is operated the other way, it comes on. So it can only be used for on and off operations. All right, so in subsequent videos, I'll take my time to demonstrate the different ways that the one gang two way switch can be used, and then the different ways that the two gang two way switch can be used, and also the three gang two way switch. With the intermediate switch, I already have videos on how to connect them. So you can look for my video on intermediate switch wiring to know when you will have to use the intermediate switch and then how to do the wiring. All right, so thank you very much for watching this video. Please kindly do like, share, and subscribe to stay connected.
see you in my next video